meeting was at noon. Yes? Yes. Okay. Wait. Who are we meeting again? I'll know when they get here. What do you mean I'll know when they get- Carrier has arrived. Oh. I see what you meant. The Carrier is the Protoss's most iconic capital ship. The pride of the Golden Armada. They can be built from a Stargate, so long as a fleet beacon exists on the map. I will discuss their attack in a moment. First, their other basic stats. Production cost of 350, 250. Build time of 64 seconds. Supply cost of 6, 150 shields, 300 life, and 2 base armor. Lastly, they are classified as armored, mechanical, and massive, but I might not say that last one to their faces. Now let's discuss their attack. Carriers do not directly attack anything, instead opting to utilize the skills of management and bossing around. The poor victims of this relationship are known as interceptors. An interceptor fires two shots at a target, each dealing five damage every 2.14 seconds. Each carrier can have up to eight interceptors total, so theoretically speaking, if no armor is in question, a single carrier can deal 80 damage every two seconds with its little worker bees. Sounds pretty epic, right? You might think so until you find out that interceptors can be killed. If any interceptors are destroyed, the carrier can remake them, one at a time, for 15 minerals every 9 seconds. If a carrier has no interceptors, it is unable to attack. It will merely sit there, sad and lonely, likely shouting strong insults at you. If the carrier dies, all associated interceptors will immediately die as well. Sheesh, talk about attachment issues. With all of that said, now let's talk about usage. First, I should point out that carriers have an attack range of 8, but a leash range of 14. To rephrase, Interceptors will launch at targets at 8 range, but will not actually return to the carrier until the carrier is at 14 range, so there is the potential for pullback micro. When attacking into a location with carriers, you'll want to get close enough to launch the squadrons and then back up slightly to try and prevent counterplay. One of the biggest values of building carriers is how much interceptors mess up enemy forces. Since you cannot target individual interceptors, it can be a bit of a scramble to mount an anti-air defense. As the group of carriers gets higher in number, it becomes more and more difficult to stand against the swarm of interceptors. Even if you're building a primarily ground-based composition, Adding a few carriers in in the late game can be super helpful, as they so easily distract enemy forces and tend to provoke very specific responses from your opponent. Usually in the form of swear words at first, but there's more tangible counters to be discussed as well. Ah, carriers. A struggle for many, myself included. They are incredibly frustrating to deal with. Their durability can make them hard to kill in the early and mid game, and a late game congregation of them is so painful to fight, you may feel you have more luck going for a base trade. Let's start with what has been established. Carriers are a slow moving, expensive ship that is classified as both armored and massive. They attack via much less durable interceptors, which cannot be individually targeted. However, if the carrier dies, all associated interceptors are vaporized immediately. Thinking about counters then, generally speaking, you need to make a decision. Do you target fire the carrier down, or try and destroy its interceptors? 
The answer to that is usually based on what you have to fight with and how many carriers there are. Let's not forget the age-old response to the question, how do I counter 15 carriers? Don't let him get 15 carriers. Don't even get me started on if they have Storm too. Ugh. Terran players, you may be surprised to find out how well Stim Marines actually work. You will need a lot of them, but they shred interceptors beautifully and allow you to be much more cost effective than the carrier player. If you want to opt for targeting the carriers themselves, Vikings are going to be your reliable go-to. Their insane range and bonus damage to armored targets allows them to box against carriers decently. An alternative for you mech lovers is the Thor's 250mm Punisher Cannon Mode, which gives it a long range, single target anti-air attack. Protoss, carriers sometimes come out to play as a late game addition to the standard Blink Stalker Disruptor Archon composition. Your reaction will slightly differ based on what you have at the time. Blink Stalkers can be okay against a small number of carriers if they focus fire, but it's still not pretty. Archons, thanks to their high shields and AoE attack, are your best bet for fending off interceptors. However, their short range and slow speed makes them ineffective for hunting down the carriers themselves. Allow me to introduce this beauty, the Tempest. With a range so distant, they're practically off-screen, and a bonus damage against massive targets, their name shall elicit terror in the hearts of both carriers and your mother. Pair them with the Oracle's revelation ability to provide vision, and you've got yourself a near-perfect counter. My dear Zerg friends, carriers make up the bulk of the dreaded Sky Toss, but they are not the only component to that hellish creation. Speaking strictly about the carriers, the options available are fairly established. To hunt down the carriers proper, Corruptor Viper is the way to go. The flexibility of the Viper gives you some great tools. You can pick off individual enemies before a fight using Abduct, or punish a commitment using Parasitic Bomb. If fighting the Interceptors is more your style, your choices are Queens or Hydralisks. So in other words, build Queens. A lot of Queens. You can use Transfuse to keep wounded queens in the fight so long as you're on creep. Lastly, I want to talk about Infestors. They can be difficult to use, but their spells can really help turn a fight in your favor. You can choose to support your queens using Microbial Shroud, try to snag interceptors with Fungal Growth, or get Neural Parasite to sow chaos amidst the Corruptor Carrier battle. A 
really wish Hydras were better. They're just so brittle. Even if the Protoss has no splash damage, it feels tough to crush a mass carrier army using Hydras. Interstellar ship capable of mass destruction or glorified daycare professional in charge of eight energetic interceptors. You decide for yourself. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.